first thought I would turn you on while I crafted today and we could just craft together. So this is, well first I hope everybody is doing really good. I'm going to zoom out just a little. Okay, so I hope everybody is doing great today. No COVID, no flu, no nothing. Just happy days, happy days. Okay. I have to keep this on my desk now because my cats like to lick it. They will lick all the way to the glue. They'll even knock it on the ground to get to the glue. I don't know what is with that glue, but they love it. Okay. I have too much ice in my water cup and it won't close and I don't want it to spill on the desk so I'm gonna put it on the floor. So if it spills on the floor, you know, it's life. Um, okay, do you guys remember this? Probably you don't. It's been a long time. I found it when I was um, moving and so I decided to go ahead and keep it and move it with me because I liked it. This is like, I know why I put it up I didn't finish working on it is because I couldn't figure out a closure but what I think I'm gonna do is um, do one of those where you put the see it just doesn't work there is like mm, no good closure area I guess I could put um, a piece of elastic like in a grommet right there and then the elastic would hang off and then I could just wrap the elastic around. I don't really know, but I'm gonna finish working on it <clears throat> and see where it goes. So one thing is for sure is that it doesn't have enough room to support three of these. So, cause they're not decorated yet. So I'm gonna make it two and then as they get decorated, it'll be bigger and more um, stable. And then I'm just gonna make um, a little, you know, a little thing for that. Okay, so at this point, <clears throat> I have to put my, I'm gonna put my grommets in. I'm gonna put my holds in to put these in. Does that make sense? Okay, this is gross and it's nasty, but it's gonna work. So I'm gonna put that right there. <clears throat> I don't really need to do that right this second, but I am. I gotta get a pencil. Okay, so I know it's gonna sit. I'm gonna put one set of holes here, one set of holes in the middle, and one set of holes over here. So I'm gonna go up on my ruler, I'm gonna go up, it's easier if I show you the actual mark. So I'm gonna go up one, I know I'm, and I'm gonna mark this real light. I wanna go up one and a quarter, okay? So then I'm gonna flip this and I'm gonna mark the other side at one and a quarter right there okay so then I'm gonna come in in the middle and I'm gonna find the center quite yet so then I'm gonna find the center and I think that will be one and three quarters on both sides is that right very close oh very 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 close so then I'm gonna mark right there at the center at six inches. <clears throat> so I'm gonna just find out how wide uh, my spine is. My, my spine is approximately, hmm, I gotta look at it this way. The center of my spine, okay, so it's two inches. I'm gonna guess two inches right there right nope right there is that right 
yep right there so <clears throat> it is very close to two inches so I'm gonna put one book at one and one hole at one and three eighths no just three eighths and the other hole Eighths. Right there. Okay. So then this gets easier. <laughs> it went hard to begin with, but it does get easier. I gotta get my other light on. line your ruler up on the bottom and the top just make sure these little lines the little line is right along with your edge and then you will get an even place for your dot to go where you want your dot okay and then we're gonna do it again with where our second little dot is. It's right there. Line the bottom up. Okay. We want a dot there. We want a dot there. And the other little dot is right there. Then we're going to double check, make sure they're straight. So you find a straight edge. Don't trust your paper. Your paper's not going to be perfectly straight, but maybe trust the edge of your book. Okay, those are right. I'm going to erase this so I don't get confused. And this so I don't get confused. But I have to put this over. I can see it. So line that up right there with the edge. Make sure your holes are going to line up straight. Yep. Okay. So now we're ready to punch. But I am going to erase that little dot right there. I don't want to get confused at all. Okay. And just saying, if you have any little pencil marks, just, you can erase them. Okay, so, I'm going to get out my heavy duty big bite. Because my little bite ain't going to do it. Okay, I just want to make a hole. sure that I get my holes right so let me darken them just a little bit so I can see them these ones up too just so I can see them that one was a little off but it's okay I'm not gonna sweat it Oh, 
pull their bows a little off. Those ones are perfect. It doesn't matter. We might cover it up with something. Chew on. Hmm. But okay, so we have that. Now I have to find uh, grommets that will work with my thingy because I did have some the other day that did not work with my thingy. <laughs> Oh my, where are they? They're in something that looks like that. Well, I didn't think they'd be this hard to find. Or I would have tried to find them before I started. Okay, there's some in there. I'll use those. I don't care. Okay. these little flowered ones. I could find six of one kind. Huh. I think that's two of one kind. I just need one more gold one. Six. I think that's close. Okay. Could have used the silver ones. But I think the gold will look good. Golder ones. Gotta find one more for the thing that's gonna close this. I want them all to match. Okay. Okay. Let's get our big bite back. I think I had it set right. Right? I don't want to mess this up. I messed one up and I had to buy another one. I don't want to mess this up. It did not set it right. Nope. Right there. Let's try it again. It will be ugly, but it will be. Oh, really ugly. And it didn't set. Let's try one more. Well, that one set just fine. I think. Yeah, that one set just fine. I gotta try to get that out. That's easy to get out.
Yep, they're setting just fine. And they're off a little bit, but I don't really care. Okay. So they all set good, and that's what it looks like. So now we go to make our template to push them in. And it can be any little spare piece of paper you have. Just cut it down to the size of your book, like so. Make sure. Well, I'm going to do this way because it might already be perfect. Okay, then get your paper trimmer because you want this to be a clean cut, not a guess cut, but a clean cut. And you don't want to pull everything down off your shelf. And then lay this down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then put your template down, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to line up. Okay, then take your pencil and make circles. Circles, X's, dots, anything you want. Okay, there you got that. Get your big bike back up here push it back down there and try to go over your holes the best that you can. I think this one has kind of got to be a little accurate because it's going to be the center of your um, signature. And this is why I prefer to do signal, like single signatures, because they are easier. Okay. So, if you get your needle. Uh, in there. You really didn't have to do two. But. Okay, so the first one. Let's make sure we have envelopes in here. That's nice. Yeah. Make sure we got our doily. Seriously, gotta have a doily. I have not seen the doily yet. I'm looking. No doily yet. Oh god, we gotta get a doily. I'm gonna pause you while I go look for a doily. Doily. I don't say it like that. It's a doily. Okay guys, I'm back and I got doilies. Um I got these right before I moved and they are from Amazon. They are real pretty. Like, they have a pretty, like, flowery design in there. I don't know, I think it's kind of pretty. So, one, two, and And they're a little thicker, doily. Like if you wanted coffee stain these, they'd coffee stain really easy. Or stain stain, like I have that um, furniture stain and I love how it stains things. Okay, 
Alright, so there's the doilies. Now, I'm not going to put anything else in here like uh, an envelope or I don't think. I don't think there is an envelope in here either, but my pages are pretty much filled. So even my doily is going to kind of have to just go where it will fit. And I hate putting a white doily in, but it will be all right. It's a nice pop of white. Okay. Now, do I have room for an envelope? Mm. I like to add a page that the envelope gives. I like that feature. I don't. I can. I can fit an envelope in. Hold on. Let me find some envelopes. I got a bunch of junk on my desk that I really want to make it through. I'm tired of it being on my desk. So, this was all the junk on my desk. I wish these were not so long because they would look so good in this fairy journal. Hmm. Do I feel like modifying this? I'm not going to have to modify it that much. I'll use that one. And for the third one, I'll just have to wing it with a different envelope. Okay, so let's cut it kind of half away. Let your envelope guide you. Like find a peak or just do the smart thing and fold it. You know, gotta wing it. Gosh, what an idiot. Okay, shove this down in here. And now we know where the halfway mark is without winging it. But I was gonna be pretty close. Okay. Okay, so we can just do this and have our add a page and then when you open this up you have a cool little journal spot that worked out right there. Let's make sure it doesn't hang out too much. No, it does not. So there we go. Okay, so I'm going to double check what it looks like in here. Cute. Got a pocket. another pocket. Got that. Which is going to look so cool because just extra journaling spots. That. The doily. That. Whatever that's going to be. That. That. And okay. Okay. This one will fit right there. And I guess it will look very good. Okay. So 
got to make sure because we're going to fold right along that <laughs> I made a baby shark card <laughs> going to do the same for this side because my holes are not straight. We, we have determined that so it's not going to work right for each side. And just make sure you have that perfect. Got to be close. Make sure that it lines up right. And that does not, but this does. So, just for my own um, peace of mind, I'm going to write the blue. And the other one is green. See? That way I won't get confused when I'm poking my holes. So, what do I poke my holes with? I remove this. <laughs> and I poke on my mat. That is damn, but not from anything gross because I did wipe it down. Let me just dry it off with my shirt. <laughs> and then we will poke our center holes. I really don't like having to poke holes. I like just being able to guess it. Oh, I didn't make my arrow. No, I did not. Let's lay it down. Make sure I have it right. Make my little arrow pointing up. Get my little blue book out again. Make sure everything is straight where you want it. I think it's fine. Do your line. Set it in. Line it up. Make sure you got it where you want it. And I do. I didn't get my pokey tool yet. And then this is not rocket science. You just line that up in the middle and poke right in the center of your hole. There you go. That is where your needle needs to go through. And we're going to make it a little deeper. Not too deep though. Make it a little deeper. Just so you see the point poke through. And this one too. Don't get your finger. It hurts. Okay. Now, we're just going to use a clip and clip it shut. Well, we go to the green one. And we already know that on the green one, we are going to have to get our envelope in. So we'll find that spot. And they're not done exactly the same. So, your doily and your envelope may not go in just 
at the same place. We didn't have that in the other one. But we've got to find a place for our joy lake. Okay, here is the doily. We're going to put it right there. Okay. And we're going to still keep looking and hopefully, hmm, I want that envelope in there. So, I'm going to go back just a little bit and put our envelope. Uh, where that green piece of paper was. Right here. We're just going to do a little stagger. We're going to move the green piece up and then we're going to put our weird envelope thing make sure we have it upside right and we're going to put it further down this time. Yep, because we want to get that in there. It kind of is different, so we want to be able to use it. Okay, so push it all together. Use the green side up and find the center right there. Put our green, I'm trying to show you, uh, green, make sure you have it all going up. Put your uh, middle, you know, like where you want your holes. And you have to kind of lift it up just like so. In the center. And you want to do this on something that you're not going to cry if it um, right in the center. That was not in the center because I didn't have it. I've already got my, so it will should be okay. And then line your template back up to do the last, like get that template lined back up. Okay. And do the center. Doesn't matter if the template moves, you don't want your book to move. Okay. We is done with that template. We is never using it again. Okay. Okay. Hope we got that one right. I'm not real sure. Okay, then get another clip. So put it on there, recap your pointy tool, your awl, and that can go back over there, that can go back over there, they're out of the way, we're done with the pencil, and we're also done with the ruler for a minute. Okay, so these two are done. Pause just one second while I go find my thread. Hey, I'm back. So, what were we talking about? Hmm. Okay, we're talking about this thread. So this is the thread I'm going to use to sew this in. 
Yeah? I don't know where the blue one went. There is the blue one. Okay, so this is what I use. I use this big long needle. Came out of my mother's sewing box. And this piece of foam also came out of my mother's sewing box to help pull my needle through. And this is my thread. Now, just so happens my thread is already waxed. I got this uh, from BB Crafts, but you can also get it on Amazon. And this is slightly thinner than what I like to use, but it's okay. I, I'm still going to use it, all of it, every bit of it. So you just thread it through your needle. Okay? If by chance, you don't have pre-waxed thread. You can buy this. I got it from Joann's and you can see I've used a tremendous amount of it. Um, and when the little holes uh, get too deep, you just turn it and you find um, a clean place. This has, I've had this for, gal, an awful lot of years. I'm going to say about 20. And um, I've used a lot of unwaxed thread. It is like, um, the unwaxed thread is like you would use it to, what is that word? And I don't know if I have any in here, but, um, like, it's not darning. I don't have any that is still on its here this this is unwaxed but you can use this real easy to uh, bind your journals and you just wax it with this and then it makes it go through the paper glide through the paper real easily what is that called it doesn't tell me Huh, I don't know, I can't think of the name of it. That's okay. I showed it to you, so I don't gotta know the name. Okay. And while I'm doing this, no, it's okay, I can do that later. Um, I'll show you. We'll do this real quick. And you don't have to use thread to do this. Some people use other things like yarn. It's just whatever you got, whatever you want. So, the green one goes up front, and I don't cut my thread when I'm using it. I just get a lot of it off and go for it. So, I'm going to put my needle through here, like so. That's where this comes in. It helps you pull your needle through. See? Effortless with that. Okay? So then... I know the green goes first, so I'm going to put it through this hole. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So then we're going to come through this hole. No, we're going to come through this hole. Is that right? I think so. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, this is going to be a little harder. And you might have to look at it a little bit to get it to make sure you're going through the layers like they're supposed to be gone through. And you might have to feed all the pages in one at a time. Because you really want this to look nice. And sometimes they feed through easier than you think, but these are not, so I'm going to have to feed these through like so, and it's okay. Pull it through and just feed your pages. You're not tightening it up right now, so it's okay. Find the hole. 
and I have to feel for it. Just take your time. You want it to look nice. You spent you spend a lot of time picking your papers and and uh, deciding where you wanted what. So take your time. If this is what you have to do, this is what you're going to do. I have gotten frustrated many times and just shoved them all through and I was so disappointed. Take your time. Enjoy the process. And if you get to thinking, oh, this is so silly. It's not silly. This is something you like to do. Make it look nice. Okay, so we're going to tighten this one up. And we know this is going to go right there. All right. So it's a little messy. It's going to be okay. We may even have to do it again. And I think we probably are. But we want to go ahead and pull this string through. The extra string. Pull it through. Pull this side through. Okay, not too tight at this point. You just want to get it all lined back up again. Okay, and it may be the same way. You may have to feed a few through at a time. That's okay. You like making journals, you want them to look nice. So just feed them through a few at a time. This is the one that kind of floats and he's okay. I knew that one was going to give us a problem. Okay. This little guy goes like so. Okay. Okay. So let's tighten everything back up. Because we don't want to be wasting no thread. Not if we don't have to. 
You're going to waste a little bit no matter what, but not a whole bunch. We've already gave it its grace. So, now, ah, we took too much back. Need a little bit. Need a little bit more. Okay, so we go back out this hole. We gotta tighten everything back up. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's going the right way. <laughs> okay, okay. So then, Thread your needle back through. And go back through this one. I'm not sure. We actually have, yeah, we do. Okay, so. It's hard. This part is, can be hard on these doubles. That's why I don't gym very often. They don't really make me happy anyhow, so why do I do this? Kind of get the middle. Try to get it where it's all lined up. And just push. And kind of check your progress in the book. Yeah, I'm not getting it. So, we're going to do it again. Not too much, but we're going to do it again. Pull that thread till it feels tight. Okay? And then, watching our finger, we're going to push through. We got it that time. And that is the last time we got to do it. For this one. Make sure everything's tight where you don't have any loose thread. It's got to feel tight. And then we're going to tie it. Some people don't tie their thread like in a knot because for some other reason they want to do something else with it. And I, I, for the life of me, I don't know. But I'm going to knot it and I'm going to pull it right through there, that piece right there. And then we're going to pull this one through there, pull it tight, wrap it around, okay? Then I'm going to knot it again because I'm never going to unknot this thing. I don't want to. Okay, but I do leave these dangly things just in case whoever buys it or gets it wants to add a charm. So that's one. That is one in there. And you want to like just make sure everything feels good. Everything feels tight. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do it again. We're going to get this blue one and get it going the right direction and it is going to go right there. And then you see it's going to be a pretty fat book because it still has to get decorated. So I'm going to show you how to do the purple one easy. Um, 
and I'm going to do it in a different video because this video is already very long. So I will come back and show you. But um, yeah, this this doesn't have to be as tedious as this if you make one signature. And we still have to find the middle, and so we've messed up all of our pages. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So the first one is usually pretty easy. Like, I don't ever really struggle too much with the first. Oh, pulled it back out. With the first. Okay. That's probably an easy one. Okay. Just get your sponge. Pull it through. Then, the next one, I don't know. I don't like doing these doubles or triples or whatever people do. So we're going to try real easy too. Just going to try and pray and hope that it comes out the other side. <laughs> and no, it is not. There we go. Well, so that was much easier than the other one. You know what? Oh, I'm such a dummy, dummy, dummy. Y'all knew it, didn't you? You knew it. Oh, dummy, dummy, dummy. I didn't go through the cover. Y'all knew that, didn't you? You saw me doing it. You laughed. I would have laughed too. Okay. You were like, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm so silly. That's a good word for it. Better than the other word I could use. Dum dum. Okay. It was so easy. I don't care. Let's just see if I could get the needle through. If I can get the needle through, I can do this. There we go. I was not slow in my mojo for nothing that time. <laughs> I don't know why I've showed you all this. This is embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Okay. Gotta get me a little bit more slack. And then pull a little bit more through. Hope it goes through. Just as easy as that second one did. And it is, and it is. Yippee! Okay. Okay, we're going to get this out, that little string. Okay, we're going to go back out the middle, and we are going to, ouch, poke ourselves, and pull that, because we really don't need to waste that much. So then we're going to go back through I like to go back through the opposite side Okay I'm going to find the middle And we are going to try to do this again Okay, 
didn't work out great, it's okay. It's going to work. This is going to go through here. We're not going to judge ourselves. We're going to tie it. here in the second knot this time because we're not picky well it's still tight and tighten it up and I just might tie this one more time for good measure and we're gonna hope everything worked out good <laughs> And it did. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. You don't even notice that the grommets are uneven. And that's that. Okay, so just want to make sure the pages are right before we go any further make sure okay so it's gonna shut good now the last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this in here for sure because you don't want to lose that you don't want the pokey side out I'm just telling you okay we need because see I wasted one earlier so I want to find another one that matches. And you know what? I don't have another one that matches exact of the flowers. So I'm going to try. The silver does not. Okay, well, then I will take a round one that matches because the silver is going to stand out like a sore thumb oh no But I didn't get the right color yet. Okay. That is the right color. Right there. Okay, and I'm gonna put that. Can I get the ruler back again? And we know that this is right. there. So let's move it down and try to keep it right. We're going to put a piece of elastic as our closure and we're going to put the grommet right there. And we may as well do this now before we go any further with making pockets or anything like that. That way we can judge how big our journal gets. Oh my gosh, it's so ugly. What did I do? 
<gasps> it's getting hard to find this color. you whoever made these uh like oh, they should have took in consideration there are people like me in this world oh. okay let's try it again line her up Sucker up. Okay, better than the last one. Not perfect, I don't care, but it is better than the last one focus okay okay let me put my elastic in I wish I had brown elastic but I don't I only have black put the elastic in nope <laughs> I'll get it I'll get it it has been a long time okay so, got to have some to tie with. And there we go. Put these ends in. And we got to find a way to cover this up too. These two. gonna hide it anyhow so it really doesn't matter one of these little washers these are the washers that I use to back my magnets to make a magnet go a little further well you're only using one magnet and then and then you're using grommets not grommets this is a washer this is getting so confusing. So, put your elastic through that, right? And that is bigger than the hole, so it's going to prevent it from going through it. And then we're going to tie it. Just like so. And the benefit of using an elastic um, and doing it this way is that down the line, if you need more elastic, you can always just untie that or cut it and then add more. And so there you go there is our closure that is much too loose so just take our elastic this way and kind of pull it and if you can't like you've only lost a little elastic and I might leave it long longer 
then I really want it right now just to see how big it gets. So we're going to hide, I'm going to hide this elastic with a pocket or something. And when I do, I will probably tape it onto the inside right here and maybe I will make a long pocket right there. And that's what I will do. Okay, so this one is way, way, way too long of a video. It is too long. But that is how you put your signature in there if it's more than one and you have a book like this. And you can put three or four or five or however wide your spine is, how much it will support. But I'm going to tell you, you want to leave at least a half an inch in between each one of those because your book is going to grow and the signatures are going to grow and unless you want a real 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 gappy book you want to leave a little room in between see you have a half an inch there was no way I could put three in here okay so that's it for this one and then I'm going to show you how to make a cover and um, bind this one but you know some people and in the past I wouldn't have even made any other cover this this would have been just fine um, but it needs more to me than just this at this point because it's not much of a cover so I'll show you that um, but first I want to I want to drink some water and then I want to get ready for Darcy's live. She's going to be live in um, in um, Junk Journaling with Penny at 1. But I think if it's Central Standard Time, it'll be noon. So you just have to go keep stopping in over there to see when it is and then you know for yourself. See you guys later. Um, I hope you have a very nice Sunday uh, and a really blessed week. Y'all take care. Bye.